In this video, we introduce Pourbet diagrams. These are plots of potential versus pH and are particularly useful in corrosion science as they define the conditions under which a given metal can corrode. In the video, Electrochemical Stability of Water, we have seen that the Nernst equation can be used to express the pH dependence of electrochemical reactions. In particular, we have seen two examples, the reduction of protons and that of oxygen. The pH dependence of both these reactions can be expressed graphically, plotting half-cell potentials versus pH. And this results in two parallel lines having a negative slope of 0.059. You may remember that the space between both these lines corresponds to the zone of water stability. A Pourbet diagram is a plot of potential versus pH, which not only shows the stability zone of water, but also that of different phases containing a given element. Let's take the Pourbet diagram of iron as an example. The different areas of this diagram indicate the stable state in which iron is found, including, for example, iron 3 plus in solution, iron 2 plus in solution, metallic iron, and iron 3 oxide. You can therefore think of a Pourbet diagram as a phase diagram in which, instead of pressure and temperature, the axis are potential and pH. But how are the phase boundary lines of a Pourbet diagram derived? The line indicated by number 1 represents the equilibrium between iron and iron 2 plus ions, whereas the line indicated by the number 2 represents the equilibrium between iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus ions. Both these equilibrium reactions are of pure redox nature. The potential of these lines can be expressed from the Nernst equation. In both cases, we find that the potential is independent of the pH, as no protons are involved in these reactions. Therefore, lines 1 and 2 in this diagram are horizontal. The line indicated by number 3 represents the equilibrium between iron 3 plus ions and the iron 3 oxide Fe2O3. The oxidation number of iron does not change, and this reaction is an acid base one. It is therefore represented by a line that does not depend on the potential and is vertical. All the other lines in the Pourbet diagram have a certain slope. They refer to reactions in which both electrons and protons are transferred, and the corresponding potentials are a function of pH. By applying the Nernst equation, the pH dependence of these potentials can be obtained. The Pourbet diagram of iron, as well as that of other metals, can be simplified by indicating only three regions, immunity, corrosion, and passivation. In the immunity region, the stable phase is the metal, in our case, metallic iron. Under these conditions, it cannot corrode. The region of corrosion represents conditions under which the oxidation of the metal to a soluble product is thermodynamically favored. Here, the stable phases are solutions of metallic ions. In the case of iron, iron 2 plus or iron 3 plus ions. In the passivation region, the stable phases are insoluble metal oxides. In such cases, however, the oxidation products may form a film on the metal surface, possibly protecting it from further oxidation. The effectiveness of this passivation is highly dependent on the porosity of the metal oxide film 
and on how well it adheres to the metal surface. Looking closer at the Pourbaix diagram of iron, we see that, in the region of water stability, iron is present either as ionic species in solution or as an oxide. This means that iron is unstable in contact with water. However, depending on the conditions, it can corrode or be passivated. Pourbaix diagrams give the thermodynamic stability of different phases, but they do not indicate whether or not the corrosion reactions will take place at observable rates. To learn more about the difference between thermodynamics and kinetics, please watch the video Thermodynamic State Variables. In summary, Pourbaix diagrams are plots of potential versus pH which define the electrochemical stability of an element in a specific environment. Horizontal lines represent pure redox reactions. Vertical lines represent pure acid-base reactions. And sloped lines represent combinations of both acid-base and redox reactions. For the redox reactions, the pH dependence of the potential can be derived from the Nernst equation. Pourbaix diagrams are convenient for determining conditions at which corrosion can or cannot take place.